Good morning, Royal Family. I am back. Hope you guys are enjoying uh, the beginning of your Sunday. All right, today I'm going to give you a Valentine's dessert. And on my page here, I stated that I'm always, uh, I always like to be innovative and creative. So here is a, it's an old classic recipe, but I thought I'd bump it up a notch uh, to show you guys. All right, let's get started with the ingredients. Okay, here I have three nine inch pans, which you will need. I have three, three ounces of jello. Now I decided to use the lime, orange, and strawberry, but you can pick any jello flavor that you like, okay? Here I have two bottles of Patron. Yes, I said Patron. Cute little bottles, huh? All right. I have one box of yellow cake mix. I have heavy whipping cream. I have imperial powdered sugar. I have Philadelphia cream cheese. And this is only four ounces. I divided it in half. Next, I have mascarpone cheese. I have Cool Whip. I have one shot glass. I have here three eggs and some canola oil. All right. I'm not going to show you guys uh, me doing this box cake, but I want you guys to actually follow the directions on the back, especially for you newcomers. It says one cup of water, one third cup of vegetable oil, and three large eggs. Please follow that exact measurement and ingredients. All right. Now I do have canola oil here, which you can use canola oil, but if you don't have it, do the vegetable oil, and you're going to divide this cake into three of the nine inch pans. And you want to try to make sure to get it evenly. So what you would do, once you uh, do the cake mix batter, take you a one cup scoop and just scoop out one cup for each pan. If you have any left, then scoop a little more, you know, to each pan to try to get them even. And you also want to uh, spray these and cover them in parchment paper. Cook according to the directions on the box, 350 for about, what do it say? I know I never look. I ought to be ashamed. I'm going to say 20 to 25 minutes since uh, your batter will be pretty thin. All right, you guys, let's get it rocking. Okay, Royal Family, here are the cake. Here is the cake box mix that I divided into three pans. You see, I lined it in parchment paper, I sprayed it, and then divided it in three pans according to one cup a piece. I'm gonna say it took one and one third cups in each pan. All right, I'm about to put it in a 350 degree oven. I'm going to say 20 minutes, but I'll time it exactly and let you guys know. All right, we're cooking with fire now. Okay, Royal Family, here is another step. The cakes took about 20 minutes to finish. So I have them over there on the cooling rack. And while they're cooling, we're gonna go ahead and get started. I'm not gonna call this a frosting uh, because I'm going to insert this in the middle of each cake. But anyway, this is four ounces of cream cheese. I did one tablespoon of mascarpone cheese. I did one cup of sifted powdered sugar and I did one teaspoon of strawberry extract. And you just want to combine this. You see how smooth it is? Getting a little blurry here. Okay. You see how smooth it is? Let me see if this slider. 
There you go. You see how smooth it is? Okay, now we're going to add the Cool Whip to it, all right? Once you add the Cool Whip, just beat it in and get it pretty smooth. And then put it in the refrigerator. And then I'll show you our next step. We're about to hit a home run. Hang tight. All right, you guys. Here's the mascarpone cheese, the Philadelphia cream cheese, um, the teaspoon of strawberry extract. And guys, I think I left out a tablespoon and a half of whipping cream and a pinch of salt. Now we're going to put this in the refrigerator. I want you to get a pot out and put water in it because we need boiling water. Make sure it's a pot that you can pour out of. So that is the next step. Get your pot, fill it with water, and the water needs to come to a boil. And I'll be back. I have to do the same. All right. All right, here is one of the cakes that is done. So on all three cakes, I want you to take a fork, and I just want you to poke down everywhere. Anywhere you don't see your fork holes, just keep poking. Can you see that? Okay. Do that on all three cakes. Oh, you don't want to tear your cake. I think I had went over that. So be careful doing that. I think I see one here. There you go. All right. Do it to all three cakes, and we'll come back. All right, you guys. Now we're down to the fun part. I did one cup of boiling water to each flavor of jello. You see there? There's the strawberry, there's the orange, and there's the lime. So next, what we're going to do, you remember the uh, little Patron bottles I showed you? And I have a shot glass here. We're going to pour one shot glass in each of the Jello flavors, okay? Here you go. Here you go. One shot. All right. Let's do another one. Here you go. Another shot. And here go the last shot. Right. There's that last shot of a tron. All right. Now we, ooh, I can smell it. And guys, these can't, I mean, this recipe can be kid friendly. The only thing you would do, of course, is not add the patron. Okay, so let me rinse that one off and stir this one. Alright, and what you're going to do, you're going to take uh, the cake and each flavor, you're going to just, first I was going to say uh, pour it on, I think we need to spoon it on so we can control, you know, like here is the orange here. You see? Okay, we're just going to soak it like that. I want you guys to see that. Okay? And once we soak these, we're going to put them in the refrigerator for 30 minutes. So you're going to do each cake like this with the different flavors. And then I'll come back. All right, you guys. Heading to the finish line. All right, you guys. Uh, this is one of the cakes that is soaked in the orange jello with the Patron. And I just wanted to show you guys uh, how we're going to do this. Uh, once you let the cake stay in the refrigerator for 30 minutes, you're going to take it and you're going to turn it upside down on a piece of parchment paper. And I have just a cookie ring here. And I'm going to show you how you're going to do it, all right? 
Okay. You have to be very careful because the cake is soaked. And you see how I just went around that? And now we need to take a paper towel and wipe this off. Okay, and we're going to do the next one the same way. Press down gently. All right, and let's pull it back up. And what you're going to do, get as many rounds as you can and just remove the excess cake. Don't remove the rings, just the excess cake. Okay, let's go again. And once you do this, you're going to put it back in the refrigerator for another 20 minutes. All right, you guys, I'll show you what I did once I removed the cake. Okay, here it is, once we remove the excess cake. So you're gonna put these rounds back in the refrigerator. I'm gonna say just for about 20 minutes. You guys, and don't, that camera did my hands so bad. I do have wrinkled hands because I'm washing them all the time, but I promise you, they're not as bad as the camera showed. All right, you guys. I'll come back and we'll finish it up. Okay, you guys, here is the finished product of the Patron Jello Shot Cakes. I'm going to be honest with you guys. My first idea was to stack them, and that did not work out because the cakes were too tall and they were not the same in width. So I just thought of another idea and I just put them in uh, single layers. And I just added the mascarpone cheese on top. I cut a strawberry into fours and just spread them out. And this is how it ended up. But the recipe, you guys, is so awesome. And I just took the little Patron jars and just put Jello in them for presentation. But you guys, I think this is a beautiful Valentine's Day dessert. And if you want to do it for your kids, just take out the Patron and they will love them also. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for subscribing. And may you have a blessed week, a happy Valentine's Day, and I will see you guys next week. God bless you.